everybody and welcome to another awesome video with your on-screen friends, Ahar Panda! So today we have another vlog, but not really because I will be explaining and talking a lot. Backstory, I've never enjoyed mushroom picking. I'm very bad at it and I really don't enjoy the process. <laughs> The only mushroom pretty much I know is Muhammad and I'm way too drawn to it and like I can't resist but like take pictures of it and wanting to grab it. because it's so beautiful. Mushroom picking is a big part of being Russian. I really don't know if kids nowadays still do it, but when I was younger, that was like a must. I was dragged mushroom picking countless times. And I'm not really an outdoorsy person, I guess, even though I camped a lot growing up. I camped for weeks in a tent and a hole in the ground used to be my bathroom. And now I do go for hikes or like exploring national parks more than a normal person. And I absolutely love nature and I appreciate nature and I appreciate everything living But I truly prefer staying in my dungeon as in my room with a closed door with the curtains down and a very small amount of light Okay, that was so off topic Mushroom picking is like getting free food that you found on the ground so required attire or OOTD for the mushroom picking. First, you need to wear all of your old clothes. Don't wear anything new because it's gonna get ruined. Or just in general, like you wouldn't want to walk for hours in the woods, in the hills, or like in a pretty dress or whatever. Number two, your head should be covered with something to protect you from the ticks that can fall from the trees and you know, they will get like stuck in your hair and then crawl and get stuck in your head. Number three, you need to wear a jacket or something with a long sleeves and you have to wear long boots or you need to put socks over your pants. You will also need a small pocket knife or in some cases people grab like a small kitchen knife with them in order for you to cut the mushrooms because you wouldn't want to pull them out because that just ruins the mushroom and you don't want to do that. A cute little basket or a bag to put your mushrooms in and you need to bring some snacks with you like sandwiches, boiled eggs or like cucumbers and like tea or compote in your thermos so you can like sit down have a cup of tea. So I would say the mushroom picking it's like Russian Halloween when you go dressed up and get free food. The best time to pick mushrooms is from August to September, but there's sometimes some mushrooms in the late July, so that's when we went. And mushrooms and their names. Sirayeshka or Rusla, I guess that's the name for it. And this 
mushroom in particular you can technically eat raw like it's edible that thus the name Serayeshka as in like you can eat it raw. Lisichki or Chantarele, I guess that's the name of it. They were my absolute favorite. Not a lot of people like them for some reason, but putting them on a skillet and frying them with some potatoes, oh, and some onions. They're so delicious. But I see them make or orange cap balit. I guess that's the name of it. And this is the mushroom that grows under aspen trees. And you know, they're pretty big and a lot of people would wanna get those because they're bigger. But video has a big or brown cap balit. And those are the mushrooms that grow under the birch trees. And again, those are pretty thick, good mushrooms that a lot of people would wanna get because you can get a lot of, like, of mushroom out of it, I guess. And for the soup is Billy or porcini and those are again the bigger bigger mushrooms that you would want to look for when you go mushroom picking. Apiata or honey mushrooms. Those are so cute. Those are so tiny and when you marinate them so fripping good. Mukhamor, one of my favorite mushrooms that you should eat. And the name of it in English is toadstool or fly agaric. I guess that's the name, like they're very weird translating to English. But this is the mushroom that I thought you cannot eat whatsoever, that it was a poisonous mushroom. And all my life I was told that, you know, you'd die if you eat it. But apparently you would not die, you would just get very, very sick. And why would you pick it and eat it when you know it's gonna make you sick? That's why probably the parents would tell their children because this mushroom is so beautiful in their nature, thus, you know, for animals to eat it because it was like so bright, you know, and get them sick, I guess. Mean mushroom, paganka, death angel. That is the poisonous mushroom, especially the bledne paganka, like light color paganka, I guess. And uh, you would not want to eat that because that will kill you. Important thing to remember if you go mushroom picking, make sure somebody knows that you went mushroom picking and where. And if you go with a group of people and you kind of split apart, if you get lost, the word to say is "awu," as in like a wolf would say, "awu, awu, awu." That's the Russian way of saying "I'm lost." Where are you at? Another important rule: if you don't know what kind of mushroom it is, don't even touch it. Don't smell it. Don't touch it. If you don't know. Don't even grab it. Also, you wouldn't want to grab any old mushrooms or the ones that you see were infested with like worms and bugs and stuff. So you wouldn't want to grab those. So ideally you want to cook them and freeze them immediately so they don't go bad. So that is all I have for you today about the mushroom picking. And in the comments down below, tell me a story how, what was your favorite time going mushroom picking if you ever did go you know, or why would you want to do that? And of course, like, subscribe, share this video, and don't forget to turn on your notifications because I've been kind of posting videos a lot lately, so you wouldn't want to miss any other, other cool, awesome videos. And I hope you have gonna have a wonderful and amazing day, and just remember, you're an awesome potato, and you know what awesome to do? Do you smile?